Zach, we've started recording. We have started recording. Hi, it's me. This is this video is gonna be a little. It's a it's a weird one. Okay, it's a weird one. Yes. <laughs> it already feels like a weird one, so we're off to a good start. Yes. We're holding true. Hello, Zach. It's me. Uh, we're yes, me. here. I'm back from vacation. It was extraordinary. Truly phenomenal. Uh, we have been like trying to catch each other's schedule for days, which is why this video is going to come out a little late and we're all just going to have to deal with it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's going out late today, but then like, it's still on time. I think you mean the video is Wednesday and Saturday, right? Like, yeah, it's, it's coming out. Yeah, It might come out Wednesday. You're rare. It's, it is the rare episode coming out on the same day it's recorded, but like we've done a couple of those. Yeah, oh my, you say we've done a couple of those. That's probably still the majority. <laughs> Hello, I'm typing. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this and bring me this. Okay, uh, Zach, are you ready? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this theory comes to us from Zelazor. Zelazor, thank you very much for submitting this theory. Zach, I'm getting a nasty echo through your end, by the way, just so you know. What? Why am I getting a how? I don't know. Hold we me. all we all got to more liberally apply the mute button. I think. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Hold <laughs> on, let me turn my volume down. Okay. And then do I have noise suppression? My noise suppression is on. <laughs> Jeez. I'm not cutting Stay. any of this. This one's going to be unhinged. Zelazor, Say something. thank you very much for submitting this theory. Um, this theory, uh, I have I have elected to reverse the order that we discussed, uh, Zelazor. Uh, this one is the fun one <laughs> because i need to be exiting my current domicile in 35 minutes so we're doing the fun one first and then we'll, the uh zelazar actually submitted three total theories and in addition to the one from michael talks about stuff we will be looking at some of those in the next couple of videos uh Furthermore, if you want to come and talk about theories, you can do them in the Discord. If you want to submit theories of your own, you can do that at the email in the description. You want to be cool like Zelazor and cool like Andy Sketcher and cool like Michael Talks About Stuff, you can you can submit theories there. Uh, yeah. Zach, are you ready? Uh, I am. I think I'm not echoing as much, so that should be good. Okay. No, 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 you can't, you can't put this down. This is, this is illegal. I'm not, I'm not happy about this. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Zach, your first clue is, quote, Tyrek Lannister was last seen a horse, unquote. So, so let me, let's talk about people who are horses. <laughs> I say, upset. Uh, <laughs> I'm reading back through this. <laughs> it's a really funny theory. It might be my favorite we've ever gotten. <laughs> Hold on, I'm messing with my audio. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Zelazor you want left under underneath each of the each of the clues. Underneath a lot of the clues, Zelazor left notes, and I want to read the notes to you when we're done, because there's some fucking funny shit in this, man. Oh, no, me... we can't. Oh, I swore in the first five minutes. Whatever. Who cares? Oh, who cares? This one is... We couldn't fix the audio quality. We're already late. This one's coming out. <laughs> this one's happening. We're going to say fuck. Who cares? <laughs> we, we'll make slightly oh, less money uh, yeah. this month. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. The the Zach, this is something I'm meaning to talk about on YouTube. People don't talk about money. Can we talk about money on this channel? You want to know how much money know. we made off off of ad revenue this month? No, we can't. I think I think it, we literally cannot do that. Why literally? 
because I believe that's in the rules for making money is you're not allowed to talk about it. Oh, it's a done, you're not allowed what to do you, dollar value. What do you mean? It's a fight club thing? The first rule of being uh, being a YouTube partner is don't talk about being a YouTube oh partner. Oh my god. Oh, uh, that's, this is this is remarkable. This is stupid. I do. <laughs> it's like a secret society. I had somebody express regret to me that they aren't that, that they skip the ads and or have ad blockers on. And let me see, what's how can I how can I uh, uh, do this? I, mean, I have ad blockers and, on and watch my own videos and uh, to my own <laughs> detriment. Um, let's see, how can I describe the shape behind the curtain if YouTube doesn't want me to pull back the curtain? Um, uh, uh, the the uh, the amount you, of you are, you total not contributing ad, that much of a loss. The amount of probably. total advertising dollars that we have made this month is on par with the total number of Dresden Files books. <laughs> there you go. That might that, be too specific. Have I have I described that? Have I described what's behind the curtain adequately? <laughs> but uh, what I'll say is we're not to the point where we're concerned about it yet. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. So if this video doesn't get monetized, fuck, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh my god, I love this channel. This is so much fun. Do I need to cut any of that? Who cares? Let's just go. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Who cares? Zelazor, I nope. hope you enjoy this unhinged video. I'll make the next one better. <laughs> okay, so Tyrek Lannister is a horse. Uh, uh, correct. People call Arya Arya Horseface. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. Wait, I, th was... I think that is a hang on. I think that is actually a piece. Yes. Um, uh, people call say so Lyanna Stark was half a horse. Uh, and when uh, Eddard Stark sees Jamie Lannister on the Iron Throne, he is a horse. Many people, many fans incorrectly assert that this means Tyrek Lannister is a horse. You say incorrectly. Correct. That's not confirmed. It's it's not confirmed, but it's heavily implied in the text if you look. <laughs> it's heavily implied that he's not a horse. That's true. Yes. Uh, Despite George R. Martin later contradicting that by saying that he is. Uh, 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 or at no, least was. no one is literally a horse in this theory. Okay, thank God. Only Khal Drogo has ever literally been a horse. Correct. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, your your maniacal laughing is yeah. not making me think that there's not a literal horse in this theory. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Zach. Um, Go ahead. Start unless playing. Unless the Eric Lannister is the stallion that will mount the world. Um, the stallion that mounts the world is nowhere on my list. That's good. Although we could have an interesting conversation about that in quote additional tinfoil unquote. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> um, so let's talk about Tyrek Lannister and when he goes missing. Okay. He goes missing at the riot at King's Landing. Orchestrated by, depending on who you ask, uh, Littlefinger, Varys, or nobody, it just happened, uh, are the three prevailing theories. If you have a different theory on who caused the riot of King's Landing, uh, send it, because I've never heard any theories besides those three. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, I just keep going back to my phone and rereading the theory. <laughs> it's the um, best one we've ever gotten. That's good. That's good. It's the best uh, one we've ever gotten. <laughs> but Tyrek Lannister is not a horse. All right. I just want to be. That is not a part of this theory. Many people assert that, which is significant, but uh, that, that is he is not a horse. So the, Tyrek Lannister is not a horse. Correct. He was last seen a horse. Correct. He is a 
Lannister, like his disappearance messes with the succession of who ends up with uh, Castle Rock, I believe. Like he is now pretty close to being in line to inherit, I believe. Let me. Uh, yeah, I believe that you're correct. Um, depending on on what line of what line of of genealogy you choose to value, like what line of inheritance you choose to value, he is currently first in line to inherit Castle yeah, Rock. Yeah, is uh, after, uh, after Tiget, Cersei. Tiget is dead, uh, and he is Tiget's only son that we're aware of, uh, only child that we're aware of. And Tiget Lannister is older than Kevin Lannister, who, uh, assuming that you know. Jamie cannot get it because he's a member of the King's Guard. Cersei uh, can't inherit because she's a woman, or it would go to her, uh, you know, brothers before daughters is pretty well established. Uh, there's an argument she could claim it, but there's also an argument passed to one of her kids, but then we get into a whole Rhaenyra situation all over again. Yes. Uh, Ooh, that's actually an interesting around, theory, that there could be like a... That, that that dispute could be like a mirror to the Dance of Dragons between Cersei and Tyrek uh, when they both end up at Casterly Rock. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah, uh, like Tyrek comes back because Zerus has and like to undermine like, uh, you know, Cersei's source of money. Like she has an amount of wealth as long as she holds Casterly Rock because of the mines. Uh, but as soon as that's contested by somebody else, uh, like... She is one has a con internal conflict in her own family, and two, uh, it now has none of the resource that she's been using quite liberally because she uses her money to solve a lot of her issues. This is fact, oh. these are facts. Okay, interesting. That is not this theory, I presume. This theory is not that Varys is about to use Tyrek to bankrupt Cersei. No, but you did get a ding. Tyrek Lannister is the son of Tyget Lannister. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, so Zelazor, just so that we're on the, I did add a few, just for just some, uh, just some sort of like uh, uh, connective tissues, just sort of basic ones, uh, uh, to sort of string the theory together. I know, I know, Tiger did not get along super well with Tywin. There was a, a little bit of a feud. Uh, uh ding. Oh. Tywin Lannister is the brother of Tiger Lannister. And then there's Garion and Kevin as the brothers. Uh, Garion, Garion, like they all, they all react to Tywin's like prominence and success different. Tygit was resentful and did not want to like wanted to build his own sort of like version of Tywin's success uh, to his own like failure to do so. Basically, and he became sort of like broody and uh, bitter. That he couldn't really be Tywin is what I'm remembering uh, and reading on the wiki right now, uh, which might contradict this. But uh, Garion decided that since he could never, like, or at the very least, like, he didn't need to be Tywin, he could go be his own person who goes on great adventures and does fun things, uh, which led to him becoming the Shrouded Lord. Uh, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna state that I'm pretty confident in it. I don't feel the need to justify that any further. I, Fight me in the comments if you disagree. I don't uh, I don't wanna send you barking up the tree too much. There's no Gary and Lannister in this theory. Okay, that's fair. And then there's Kevin Lannister, who copes with this by just being as useful to Tywin as possible, thinking that someday he might be able to uh you know follow up on the success of Tywin, which he does, I should know. Varys feels the need to kill Kevin strictly because he's actually a good leader. He yeah. he takes all the good qualities of Tywin, because Tywin still does have good qualities of a leader. He's a horrible person. He also has horrible leadership qualities to become his undoing. But there's good qualities in there, too, is what I love about George R. R. Martin's writing. He's able to find like positives and negatives in everybody uh there's like a little yin, yin and yang thing going on for sure you would never want tywin to be your lord but that doesn't mean the kingdom's falling apart uh same similar to ruel i mean the kingdom kind of is falling apart with Roose bolton but there's a lot more to do with the sun uh <clears throat> yes so uh 
Kevin, on the other hand, is able to take a lot of what made Tywin such a successful leader and distill that into something even better. And he is such a good hand of the king that Varys has to pop back in and murder him and Pycelle so there are no competent people at the helm for uh, the invasion of Aegon. Because two competent people might, like, smack Cersei's hand away from the controls. Uh, uh, all of these are facts, and all of these are interesting things that we can talk about. Uh, none of them is relevant. <laughs> okay. So, but it, uh, died of a pox. Does that get me a dig? I don't have that, but no, I don't think that's relevant. But uh, by the way, uh, um, I, I hate that ye old uh, people can say a pox upon your family and it's accepted as an insult. And uh, <laughs> you're not going to finish that one. Actually. Yeah, when, when I say a pox upon your family, they just ask me whether I've been using protection. <laughs> yeah, there's a difference between, there's a difference between uh, saying uh, apparently uh, a pox upon your family and I hope your entire family gets syph syphilis. Yeah. Like, that's apparently weird. <laughs> You know what? I like that joke. I like, go fuck yourself. I like that joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Cool. Uh, Zach, would you like to take another stab or two and then take a card? Uh, another stab or two and then take a card. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's a Jenna Lannister uh, who is alive, but that's not. Uh, I don't believe that's no. It's uh, Darlessa Marbrand is uh, Tyrek's mom. Uh, the Marbrands are another Westerman house, uh, and uh, what else do we know about Tyrek specifically? Uh, he is a squire for Bobby B. Lancel is also a squire for Bobby B. Uh, um, yeah, okay. You know something? That's that's close enough to a ding. We're talking. Okay. We're talking. We're talking about knights and squires. Yeah, okay. Uh, quote: uh, Lord Tywin's knights have uh, grooms and squires. Yeah. And their horses. Yes. Uh, and this is uh, good wife Amabel. Is the theory that Tyrek was not actually kidnapped? It was like somebody attending his horse. Uh, certainly not. It's way better than that. Interesting. It's a fine, a fine thrust, but no. <laughs> Eric Lannister wasn't actually last seen a horse, so it was somebody else. Uh, <laughs> uh, By the way, we can't do it now, we don't have time, but I would like to revisit two Lannisters in a trench coat. I just reread the the scene where Aerys Oakheart dies, and we treated him very unfairly, and I want to relitigate that in another episode. <laughs> we treated him extremely unfairly. He does not go out like a piece of shit. He goes out like a fucking hero, and I was misremembering. Uh, I still feel like he dies pretty quick. No, he he, he, he he dies to Arya Hota after killing two motherfuckers, and he dies to Arya Hota with two crossbow bolts in his chest. All right, fair. you can be forgiven for dying fast with two crossbow bolts in your chest. Barristan and Selmy would have sh shaken it off. But he's not bad, and that's okay. Not everybody needs to be Barristan and Selmy, okay? Not, every, not everybody can be Barristan and Selmy. Yes. Anything. He did not. He did not go out like a piece of shit. He went out like a knight a, a, around what I would expect of his uh, of his level. He went out uh, uh, um, in a losing battle, but uh, heroically. Okay, Zach, come on. Yes. <laughs> we yeah. we can't go too deep down that one. We can't. Uh, uh, give me a card. I'm okay. I'm truly lost. <laughs> okay. All right. I am rolling a die. You got a nine. 
uh, he was tall, though not quite as tall as Lord Tywin. <laughs> Thoughts of Cersei Lannister. I believe this is referring to Jamie. But that's not important. So Tywin Lannister being tall is important here. Ding. Okay. Even seated, he was tall. With long legs and broad shoulders. With a flat stomach. Is this one Lannister in a trench coat? Boop, boop, boop. Is, it the, is it the Tyrek uh, didn't need to be on somebody else's shoulders? Uh, this is thoughts of Tywin Lannister. Uh, uh, no, I'm not suggesting that Tyrek Lannister was uh, is secretly some other Lannister. No, uh... it's way better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Even if he was tall. So, yeah. Wait, thoughts of Tywin Lannister? When do we get a Tywin piece? I'm sorry, that's thoughts of Tyrion. My bad. That is thoughts of Tyrion about Tywin. Sorry. That makes sense. So, Tywin is very tall. Tywin is very tall. And Tyrek Lannister was last seen a horse. Uh, yes, although that th this is uh, uh, is disproven by this down here. OK, this uh, this is is to get you on the right track. Don't focus on it too much. OK. Was this a is this a Tyrek parentage theory? It is not. It's not it's not that Tyrek is actually the child of a Tywin. It's not, though. That's kind of fun. It's kind of stupid, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> is the uh, tunnel underneath the Tower of the Hand being built by Tywin on here? Uh, no. Okay. So it's not a Tywin has sex theory, uh, which is good, because we need fewer of those. Uh, Unless he looks like Ty uh, Charles Dance. Then, then we need a couple yes. more. Yes, correct. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Can you tell I, me? Would you like me to, to push you in the right direction? You do. Tell me some of the things that Tywin Lannister uh, 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 did or was party to over the course of the series. He, he killed the uh, house rain. He he flooded he, their halls. He did. That's not on my list. Uh, although that 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 does feature again. promise uh, prominently in another of Zelazor's theories. Interesting. He sacked King's Landing. Uh, he did, uh, not on the list. He uh, helped start the War of Five Kings by sending his men to pillage the Riverlands. Um, uh, very close. Oh, yes. Uh, no, no, no. Very close. Very close. How about immediately after that? Uh, he... After that, he, he basically declares war on House Stark after that. Dang. Uh, they're already... Oh, okay. I am marching against how, uh, Rob Stark. That is Tywin Lannister. Um, and in a um, in the same uh, passage, uh, do you recall uh, what happens at the end of the first book with respect to that? End of the first book. Yeah, describe to me some of the first engagements that happened between House Stark and House Lannister in the war. Well, they they do the fake out thing, right? Where they uh, send a smaller force to distract Tywin and then capture Jaime, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, and the uh, yeah, ding for sure. Uh, this is a passage from the section where Tyrion is observing his father's host when he's just coming down out of the mountains with his, with his, with his like moon men. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Lord Tywin's forces. 
were half mounted and half foot. Tyrion. Just no. Just thoughts of Tyrion. Like no. Tyrion. He did not come with an army of centaurs. That's wrong. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> the Lannister family are not a family of centaurs. In Greek mythology. <laughs> centaurs are half human, half horse. They are usually vengeful and violent. I can't believe Lyanna was actually at Lannister. <laughs> Lannister. She was half a horse herself. <laughs> Just imagining the Emma. Uh... It's like uh, Willem Dafoe in Spider-Man. So, you know, I'm something of a horse myself. Sandra. <laughs> and I also have on here, uh, quote, call it what you will, a glamour seeming illusion. R'hllor is Lord of Light, Jon Snow, and it is given to his servants to weave with it as others weave with thread. So, so, so there's a there's a secret Lannister horse conspiracy where they're hiding their horse features. <laughs> Ding! In Percy Jackson and the no! Olympians. <laughs> There is a centaur that people see as not a centaur <laughs> due to magical illusions. <laughs> I'm very upset. <laughs> I am marching against Rob Stark. That's what That's he true. said. He said that. That's what he said. That's true. He didn't say I am aboard a horse and that horse is mounted is marching against Rob Stark. He said he, he himself was marching. He said I am marching. He did say this. I can't dispute <laughs> this factual statement you are saying. To me. <laughs> However, I got some more. You want some more? Yes, please give me more. In the Bad Dragon Show, uh, there is a famous scene where Tywin rides uh, uh, into the Red Keep and his horse shits on the floor. It It is in keeping with the theming surrounding Tywin Lannister if that it's wasn't yeah. his horse. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> he dies shitting. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Again, I can't dispute these things. You are you are stating factual statements out loud right now. Uh, cool. Unfortunately, I got a quote for you right here. This is straight from Zelazor, straight from the horse's mouth, if you will. 
Tywin Lannister is shot by a crossbow while he is going to the bathroom, but also That's true. while he is standing up. The phrasing in this in this chapter is very interesting, and all of the phrasing could be used to describe a centaur. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrion misheard. It wasn't it wasn't wherever whores go? It's wherever whores. It's go. wherever horse go. <laughs> Zach, thank you very much for giving me the thumbnail. That really makes my job easier. <laughs> wherever horse go. God, that's really funny. <laughs> I'm just gonna reach you. Oh my god, I'm crying. I'm just gonna reach you a little bit off of this off of these notes, okay? Go for it. Maggie the Frog, they had called her in Lannisport. Uh that was the thoughts of Cersei Lannister and then notes Maggie the Frog has magic powers and lives near Tywin. That's correct. That's true. <laughs> um uh, he was not. So, he was not. He was tall, but not quite so tall as Lord Tywin. That's the thoughts of Cersei Lannister. And then notes, Tywin is tall. <laughs> yes. Uh, quote, is quote on horseback, you'll be as tall as any of them. That's Tyrion talking to Bran in that fantastic scene where he gives him the like, the the, the saddle specially made schematic. saddle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And notes, horse are tall. <laughs> Horse are tall. Horse are tall. Horse are tall. That's true. <laughs> that's, that's a correct fact about horses. And finally, even seated, he was tall, with long legs, broad shoulders, and a flat stomach. Notes could be a centaur. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, this is the best one we've ever gotten. And don't get me wrong, alright? Zelazor sent in two more theories, and those ones are good. Those are good, real theories. But this, it's been a stressful, like, couple of days. I had a layover in Atlanta that turned into a 16-hour thing. I was stressed, I was tired, and I wanted to troll you a little bit. <laughs> uh, that, that's uh, that, yeah the, the mission accomplished did it work he, he, and then some zach did it work i feel thoroughly trolled right now thank you salazar it means a lot yeah yeah this means tyrek lannister is not a horse it means he's a centaur <laughs> <laughs> Where, wherever horse go oh my wherever god go. yeah oh god that's the funniest thing i've ever heard yep. oh my god whenever horse go holy shit oh my god zach i need i need to be done with this this is me. I, my sides hurt very badly. <laughs> oh my god. I have been struggling with laughter the entire time. My god. I'm going to rewind. You went, no. <laughs> I should have said no. <laughs> I, I do declare in face of this madness, nay. <laughs> Oh, holy shit. Oh, let's go. Okay. I send a letter to my favorite, favorite Roman senator. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a Caligula I, pointing his horse to the Senate joke. How dare you talk that way about biggest dickus? Biggest dickus. Was he a biggest centurion? I don't, I don't think he was a senator. Was he a senator? I biggest think was, dickus? I think he was just like a general. Uh, I don't know. I His think, wife, you know. I think he was uh, just like a. I think he was just like a high-ranking military official. <laughs> Somebody in the comments, please correct me about my Monty Python lore. <laughs> well, I'm pulling up the Monty Python wiki. Okay. 
He's a nobleman and officer, so yeah. Oh, perfect. Friend Pontius Pilate, married to Incontinentia Buttocks. Is there, is, God, I did not know that. That's very funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, I'm bailing. I'm out. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Goodbye.